Good morning. This bed was so comfy. I had such a nice sleep. I didn't want to get up, but I'm up. And it is breakfast time. And I'm going to a notable donut place in Providence called uh, PV Donuts. It's a little bit of a walk, but come on, it's donuts. I'd walk a thousand miles for donuts. It's a gray, chilly day here in Providence. There's actually a chance it could snow later. Let's hope it doesn't, but well, I guess if it snows after I leave, that's totally fine. on my way to the donut shop, but I'm really enjoying my walk. This is such a charming part of Providence. All the buildings are very colorful, old wood. Yeah, this is really nice. Having donuts will make it even nicer. This is a good sign, quite literally. Just went to PV Donuts. Wow, that is an awesome, awesome donut shop. The amount of selection and variety they had regarding donuts, incredible. There were so many different flavors there. I wanted to try them all, but there's only so much I can eat. So I got a coffee, of course, and for the donut, a caramel brown butter old fashioned. This looks so awesome. So unfortunately, the restaurant didn't have any indoor dining. That's why I'm out here in this park uh, drinking my coffee and eating my donut, but no worries. The important thing is I got my coffee and donut. A little cold air won't do any harm. Mm. Besides, coffee warms the heart and soul. I feel good. Now this is a hefty donut. There's actually some weight to this. It feels really nice in the hands. This is uh, probably not healthy. Who cares? Mmm, that is so good. Messy though. The donut itself is so fresh and such good quality. Great body to it, such great flavor. But this brown butter up here, that is awesome. Mixed with the caramel, great, great topping. This is a good donut. That donut was phenomenal. Ah, man, that was so good. Now I'm gonna walk to a place called Little India Point Park. It's right along the rivers here and there should be some pretty good views. So I'm gonna walk there, drink my coffee along the way, and I gotta be quick because I also have to check out of the hotel and uh, plenty of other things to do today. at India Point Park and uh, the view, uh, it's a view. Uh, it's kind of industrialized. I do appreciate the wind turbines, renewable energy, good stuff. But yeah, it does seem like a good place to walk, uh, exercise, it's, uh, it's a sizable place, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. Anyways, can't linger too long. Gotta head to the hotel, I'm freezing. This is such a cool and unique looking house, but I gotta keep moving. Back in my awesome hotel room, it's time to pack, clean up, then check out. I'm gonna miss this place. This was a really, really good room. After that, I'm gonna check my bag at the luggage check, and then I'm gonna head to the Rhode Island School of Design Art Museum. It's one of the top sites in the city here. It looks like a pretty nice place. I'm pretty excited, and it'll be nice to do something indoors. Goodbye, room. It's been great. I really enjoyed walking through the RISD Museum of Art. The institution has a great collection of works from countries all over the world. Numerous mediums were represented from paintings, sculptures, furniture, and textiles. The 
the RISD Museum was indeed one of the highlights of my trip. So that was a really good art museum. I mean, I was there for over three hours. It's not the largest museum, but it's still pretty sizable. It's got a really great variety of works from all different eras and time periods. Personally, I really enjoyed the Impressionist work. I mean, there's Monet, Manet, Van Gogh, Cezanne. It was a really good selection of works there. But now I've got to get a move on. I gotta go back to the hotel, pick up my bag, and then head to lunch, because it's getting late quick. All right, got my bag, time to head to lunch. Going to a place called Dune Brothers Seafood. I believe it's outdoor only. I don't think there's heaters or anything. I could hope, maybe. It is uh, starting to snow a little bit. It's like 37 degrees out. Not the ideal outdoor dining temperature, but I really have a taste for fried seafood, and you know, I'm just gonna toughen it up. You know what, I changed my mind. I'm going to another place. I'm going to Harry's Bar and Burger. It does have indoor dining, so I think I'd appreciate that right now. The other place, I don't think I'd be able to enjoy the food as much as if it were, say, summer. Yeah, gotta get to Harry's Bar and Burger now. That was a solid lunch, and those sliders were more filling than I thought they'd be. They're definitely not like White Castles where you can eat like 10 and still be hungry. Well, maybe not the average person can do that though, but I can. But yeah, it was pretty good. It's definitely left me with a happy stomach. Now I desperately need coffee. There's a place, it's a bit of a walk, but it looks really interesting, so I'm gonna head there now. There are some really steep hills in Providence, but I like getting a workout. I don't think I've ever had a drink this cute in my life. I got the strawberry matcha drink with the addition of an iced espresso teddy. The three colors from the strawberries, matcha, and milk made for a beautiful drink, but one that needed to be blended together to achieve the proper flavor. You really need a straw to mix everything up. Much better. I did some reading as well. My book of the week was The Fortune Cookie Chronicles, a fascinating and entertaining look into the history of Chinese restaurants in America. Before leaving, I took a bathroom break, and I've gotta say, the establishment certainly has some nice washrooms. So overall, pretty positive experience at Ceremony. It's a really unique place. I mean, it's a modern style tea house with Chinese and Japanese influences. So my strawberry matcha drink, awesome. I loved it, great flavor, and it looked beautiful. But that espresso teddy, even though that was cute as can be, I don't really see the point of it. I don't know how I'm gonna eat that bear. I mean, it's iced espresso. Am I just supposed to wait to let it melt? Maybe I was just eating it wrong. I don't know, but that would take forever to melt in an ice drink. Maybe that wasn't the best combination. So after 20 minutes of consuming my drink and it just not melting at all, I literally had to take matters into my own hands. I just fished it out of the drink and started biting it. And yeah, it literally just tastes like iced espresso. It's good. Eventually, I managed to eat enough where it was just the poor little guy's head. It was a little morbid, but what are you gonna do? Anyways, it looks so cool. That was an awesome drink though, but maybe not the most practical, but who knows, I could just be eating it wrong. So I've got about an hour and 15 minutes before my train arrives to take me back to New York. So I think I'm just gonna linger around the campus of Brown University, see what I see, and then just head back to the train station. So I think this is a nice campus, although I'm not sure because this is not very well lit at all, but it still looks nice, I think.
So I had a nice walk exploring the campus of Brown University. It looks like a really nice campus, from what I could see of it, quite literally. But now it is about time to head back to the train station, and go home to New York. This has been a really nice trip to Providence. I had such an enjoyable two days. I think I spent uh, my time pretty well. Of course, there are things I didn't do, but they'll have to be for next time. And it's always nice having things to come back to, a reason to come back to a good place. But with that said, it's time to return to NYC.